big day for Atherton Bikes today. We're heading down to the London Bike Show. Uh, we've got a stand there. So we've got some of the bikes, we've got the whole team down there. We've got the Athertons uh, speaking this afternoon as well. So it's quite, quite nerve wracking because it's the first time we're actually showing the bikes to the public. We've got some bikes, we've got some of the lugs, uh, the way it shows which the way they're, they're sort of additively manufactured, 3D printed. We've got a mock up machine. It's the first time the public are actually going to be able to see, touch, feel the bikes and at the end of the day that's what matters is what the public think. This is my first time on an Atherton downhill bike. Awesome. I mean, I'm biased, but I love the look of them. This is Rachel's, yours, isn't it? Rachel, how does it look this is Dan. Right so here's, here we've got Dan's uh, downhill bike, and mine's probably about 20 mil shorter, which is quite a lot. You know, you notice 20 mil. Um, me and Pierce are about the same size, so I'd say Pierce would probably ride a similar size to me. Not in every direction. <laughs> similar speed as well, I think. Um, so next next video will be us riding on the on the trails. What about you, girl? Do you think we can uh, fix that? It's bike? long, isn't it? So these are trick stuff brakes, and G and uh, Rachel have been saying that they're absolutely amazing. They're almost binary on or off, so they've had to kind of learn how to brake again almost. Never actually really ridden probably a proper set up mountain bike. Yeah, and it makes such a big difference when you ride like yeah. the right suspension settings. Never you know, done it. Everything perfect for you. Sits in the garage. Such a big difference. You go riding, yeah. you get it out kick your tyres, do that, yeah. yeah, and you can, I can feel, is that set up to ride, is that? That's that, Dan has that? his quite, Dan has his bike set up quite stiff and quite fast, so he's like riding a lot of jumps and bike park stuff, so he's really like playful and it like yeah. fires him out of the turns, whereas G and I have ours a bit more like, a bit slower, a bit more like, a bit more technical grip, the core yeah. a bit more, but Dan likes to fire the jumps and like, shh, go up in the air like really high. This is a metal additive manufacturing machine. Here you see a 60 micrometer le thick layer of titanium powder being spread across the titanium build plate. Four lasers then fire to uh, melt the cross section through um, our titanium lugs that we build our bikes with. And here you see the particular support structures that are being built on the screen. Once that's done, the build plate drops down and the next 60 micrometer layer, thick layer of titanium powder is spread across. So this is the build plate that comes out of the machine. These are the lugs that are there anchored to the pill plate on support structures. There's about three and a half thousand layers to this full um, bike set here. The next stage is these lugs go into a furnace for stress relieving heat treatment. Um, they then come off that build plate and we do a final machining process to machine bearing seats and threads. Next stage is the assembly of the rear end, so the stays. We take our um, stay lugs injected heat if we have them but done before and that all gets put together by sliding these sections together guided by these slots here um, it's just simply a case of pushing it together and locating these pins to get them in the right place so these are the carbon tubes we're using our tubes we use in our frame they're unidirectional roll wrap pre brake it's a very very high performance technology from from aerospace in fact, we use a different carbon fibre for the seat tube where the loads are highest. They're designed in a way which makes them extremely robust. So they're very, very um, robust in terms of impact. In fact, this bike is the bike that um, G has been testing out in Malaga this winter. And you'll see that despite Malaga being super rocky, the down tube looks absolutely perfect. 
So onto the front triangle, we start with the bottom bracket, we insert the down tube into the bottom bracket, head tube goes on. Next, the lower seat tube gets fed into the bottom bracket, uh, pivot lug goes on. Next stage is the top tube goes into the, into the uh, head tube. We then get the seat tube collar onto the frame and finally the upper seat tube gets slid through that seat tube collar into the joint onto the um, pivot lug. And lastly, we inject adhesive into this little hole just here to fill that cavity there with adhesive. And that's it done. Five days in the jig, um, ready to ride. So um, obviously a new project for us this year, Atherton Bike Coat. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a massive step for us, um, taking the, the team from just being a, a World Cup race team to starting our own bike brand. Um, and we've done it with, uh, with me, Dan and Rage. Uh, Piers here is on board as well. And then working with a few other guys to kind of found this company that basically uses 3D printing to manufacture downhill bikes, trail bikes, and bikes in quite a unique fashion. The Afton's just did a Q&A, and the audios, the sounds, awful here the background noise hope you can hear this um, and it's been amazing the stand's been rammed all day uh, the guys who've been done many of these events say have had an amazing response so it's just fascinating seeing people you know not, not just Atherton fans but they're coming to look at the bike and they're fascinated the way it's made the engineering we've got a mocked up um, additive manufacturing machine here and it's just been a great result so onwards and upwards